So I'm going to talk about some of the things that I see going on in the red pill community. And this actually comes about because uh, on a previous video I did with talking about Michaela Peterson and Rolo Tomasi. I just had so many fantastic comments. So thank you for the comments. Please, as always, like and subscribe. Now let's get into it. So one of the things that Rolo Tomasi did is he did a podcast where he called it, I think it was Party to Die or Die to Party, Party or something like that. And he basically used Michaela Peterson as a reference. Kill to Party, that was it. And he used Michaela Peterson, if you like, as the avatar and the clickbait. But he was actually referencing someone else who killed a child. Um, and he, throughout his podcast, he did explain that he's just using Michaela Peterson as an example. Nothing else. That's bad, more like. And then Michaela Peterson had him, had Rolo Tomasi on her podcast. And this was already booked, apparently, and they discussed this during the podcast. And she said, look, you've said some things about me. I want to clear these things up. And they had a really good conversation. And that's what I made a video about. It's just how surprised I was at the conversation they had. Just how grown up it was, how clever it was, how intellectual it was. And I came away respecting both of them. Now, they, in that podcast, talked about the difficulties of social media branding, how people perceive what you say, and how sometimes what you say, con context and intention can be lost. And it's amazing on both sides how different people have come away with different perceptions of that video, of the podcast, which is, that's life, that's what it's about. Okay, And they're just opinions, and, and we shouldn't take them more seriously than that. You know, you know, we shouldn't take ourselves more seriously than that. But this is something that I'm starting to see more and more coming through in the so-called red, uh, red pill community, you know, who are very quick to accuse different types of people of being simps, but always chasing after women. Now, there's lots of people in this so-called manosphere. You know, you can go with Fresh and Fit, Rich Cooper, Rello Tomasi, Richard Tate, um, The Better Bachelor, you know, is that Aaron Clancy? You know, I, <clears throat> I don't even know who half these people are. I watch a lot of content about everything on YouTube. You know, I, I make content, so I absorb content. But one of the things I do see as a problem that's coming through this so-called manosphere red pill community is the anger. Too many men are angry at relationships that didn't work out, are angry the, at the attention that they gave to women and it wasn't reciprocated. And we've all been duped. You know, my game with, when it comes to women is awful. I'm 47 years old. Don't take dating advice of me. Well, maybe you should because I'll tell you all the mistakes I made and you can read between the lines and work it out for yourself. You know, I'm no player. But I do understand my own part in everything that happened. I do understand where I went wrong. And nine times out of ten, it's to do with losing yourself, becoming so absorbed in the relationship, you forget who you are. And that's the other side of the red pill community that I like, that supportive community, the network side of that community, where they talk about focusing on your goals, leveling up, leveling up, being the best version of yourself. And that really what people should be focusing on is I strongly believe that there's two things that are a problem with the red pill community in the manosphere. The idea that all women are the same. No, there are exceptions to all of the rules. But a lot of women right now with social media, this isn't a great time. There's a lot of attention and I think it's given them 
a lot of false hope. Secondly, too many men are just simping, begging, pleading. Oh, you're so beautiful, you're this, you're this. In the hope of reciprocating attention. Now look, there's nothing wrong with complimenting women and saying, damn, you're fine, damn, you're gorgeous. But it's the anger that when they're like, oh, thanks, or just don't reply. And you're like, oh, you're just an attention whore. No, the, the compliment needs to be sincere. The attention needs to be sincere with no strings attached. And I think this is where it's going wrong. And then all these guys are getting angry and frustrated and they're blaming women for the attention that they gave them. And this is where that I'm starting to see more and more coming through a lot of people on the Red Pill community, as well as in the comments in that previous video did, did I did, and I'll put the links up. People are talking about all a lot of these so-called Red Pill leaders people at the top of the of the tree, the well-known ones, don't necessarily all follow their own rules. You know, it's do as I say, not as I do sort of thing. But guys, the Red Pill community is a great space for young men. It's a great space for all men, you know, to, to learn about levelling up, to learn about being the best version of yourself. And to learn about female nature, the nature of the beast. Men and women are driven by different things. This isn't new. There was a very famous book written in the, I think it was in the 80s, possibly the 90s. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. And it was about the different dynamics in relationships. And how different men are different and women are different. And the problem that you get in a lot of relationships is men try to impress women with things that men are impressed with. And women aren't interested in things that impress men. Women want different things to what men want. And men want different things from women. And there's that kind of age-old saying, you know, be at home, make me a sandwich, have sex, I'm pretty good. In other words, just take care of me. Men have very low needs in that sense. And again, it's different for everybody, you know. But there's this whole, yeah, it's like simmering and it started to just bubble up. And it's just a lot of angry guys. And fellas, one thing is for certain, one thing I can guarantee you in life, there will always be, unless you were at the very, very top of the tree, more women will reject you than want you. But the other thing you can be absolutely certain of, there is something very strange that happens around men who have purpose, know their goals, and don't get distracted by them. And I promise it doesn't matter if you're a bus driver, a mechanic, or a rocket scientist. When you're focused, doing your thing, set in your path and you're not distracted by trying to impress other people because no this is my goal you know i'm buying my house i'm investing my money i'm doing this when you have that purpose and you stay in shape you kind of carry yourself differently in a way that women notice you and it, and it, it really doesn't matter what level you are at employment a lot of it is about how you carry yourself and establish yourself, distinguish yourself from the rest of the crowd. You know, that there's, like I say, you know, there's guys that just are on their purpose, on their thing. And they're too busy to notice the women in the crowd. And they're the ones that seem to get the attention. And that's the side I would suggest to any men listening to this who are exploring that manosphere, exploring the red pill. Focus on those guys. Focus on the guys that talk about levelling up, how you do it, how to get results. Pay attention to them. But don't be bitter. The bitterness and the anger don't get you anywhere. 
and it just ruins what is actually or can be a very healthy community. Take care.